Hi all and welcome back to my channel. Today I am doing a supplies haul. So I bought a bunch of supplies here recently from a couple different stores and just wanted to hop on quick and show you what I bought. So first up we're going to do my stuff that I bought at Barnes and Noble the other day. Um, I don't normally buy uh, art supplies from Barnes and Noble but there was a bit of a line so I decided to try some stuff out. So I found this field sketchbook. I really like this size. It's the A6 size. Now, supposedly this paper is a um, heavyweight, uh, acid-free paper. I mean, as of right now, it does feel very nice and soft, but I'm a little concerned about its ghosting. So I'll keep you posted. And then I just got some microline pens because, I mean, you can never have too many of those, right? I mean, at least I think you can. Uh, so excited to try out this brand as well. I don't think I've tried this brand before, um, but we shall see. And then I was at Target and looking through their stuff. I'm a huge Prismacolor gal. And so I just got one of these packs. Um, I don't really need the pencils because... God knows I have a ton of their pencils already, but basically I was too lazy to like go and pick out the pens that I actually need individually. And I mean, like I said, can't have too many pens, right? And then let me go ahead and do, so I bought a whole smorgasbord of stuff at Hobby Lobby the other day. They were having really, really good sales. And so, yeah, I bought some stuff. Uh, starting out, I bought some uh, workable fixative. So for like colored pencils, oil pastels, chalk drawings. Uh, I do have some in my studio and it's very old. So I don't know if that can lead to like causing issues with how it dries, like if it potentially were to dry like a different color or maybe not work as well. So I just went ahead and bought a new bottle. And then I bought some, well actually, hold on. Let's do the stuff that's not Master's Touch. So Master's Touch, a brand through Hobby Lobby. I'm not 100% sure on if it's only through Hobby Lobby, uh, but they were having sales on all of their stuff. So I bought a ton of Master's Touch here next. Um, before we get to that, I did buy some assorted blending stems because those are really nice for when I'm doing just charcoal or um, like normal graphite pencils and then I'm curious on like using them with oil pastels I don't know I will experiment probably a little bit with that one and then on to the master's touch so I bought some stretcher bars I think these are eight inch who lied 11 inch. So I got 11 inch stretcher bars. Uh, I will be posting a video on how to stretch canvas here coming up. And then I bought some of their brushes. This was actually my gateway into Master's Touch is I had bought some of their other brushes and honestly fell in love with them. I think they're really, really great quality. And then, um, from there, I had bought some of their paint. I'm very impressed by their uh, heavy body acrylics. So if you're at Hobby Lobby, I do suggest checking those out. But I bought a uh, liner brush and a extreme liner brush. So just to give you an idea of what I got. Uh, this is for uh, some pet portraits I'm working on and then people portraits as well, because you know, fine lines or fine hair. So I'm super excited for these. I don't actually have a 30 over zero. So that is next level for me, but super excited. And then, uh, cause you know, you can never have too many pads of paper either, right? I bought a small mixed media pad. Uh, this also says it's acid free. And it says it's 110 pound. There's only 18 sheets. Um, I do like that it has the little perforated edge. So that's nice for if you're just like quickly going through. This is more of a cream color. The one from Barnes and Noble was more of a uh, like classic white. 
so that could change the way you're drawing as far as for maybe like slightly altering colors since it's not that like stark bright white but I am excited to try out this mixed media pad and you know see if there's any ghosting or any bleed through and then I got I actually did need tracing paper so I bought some master's touch premium tracing uh, paper also acid free I really like putting this in between my drawings like in my sketchbook just to make sure that it doesn't um, bleed or smudge onto that next page like so I even do it when I'm setting stuff up so like just a nice little sheet it's not how I normally store them I just happen to be using those for something anyway uh, so yes, always have a little tracing paper on hand, very handy to make sure that it's not transferring from page to page. And then I am trying two brand new products through them, or at least brand new to me. The first thing that we are trying is the Master's Touch Premium Soft Oil Pastels, and there are 48 colors. Like, look at that goodness. Mmm. Yes. Uh, super excited to try these. I have not, ooh, that actually details them out. So I have not used oil pastels probably since college. So we'll see. I definitely want to test them out before I try anything super crazy with them, but I'm looking forward to the challenge. And honestly, if they perform as good as like their brushes or as good as that heavy body acrylic, I might end up starting to buy like more Master's Touch because so far I've been really impressed. And then I also bought the Master's Touch colored pencil set. So let me actually take this. Just since it'll be harder to see in the plastic. All right, so also 48 colors can't tell if it's the same colors as what are in the oil pastel or not. Uh, I have been a Prismacolor colored pencil gal for as long as I can remember. I have always loved Prismacolor colored pencils, but I'm always also looking to branch out and try other products. Ooh, you guys, those are kind of pretty. Kind of like how the bottom portion of them aren't the actual like color. That's fun. So gonna try those out. Probably post end up posting like a separate video of what my thoughts are. Maybe use Prismacolors as like my control group. So lots of Masters Touch. I kind of wanted to, I don't know, really dive into a different brand that I'm not super familiar with. And then, you know, I ordered paint on Amazon because, you know, why not? So this brand actually ended up having very good reviews and I am always down for, as you can tell, branching out and trying something new. So this is Gauche. Sorry if I'm pronouncing that wrong. I have never in my life painted with this style of paint. And I look forward to it. I mean, I kind of think that it's like an acrylic, but dries different. <laughs> For those that actually paint with this style of paint, I apologize if I'm botching what this paint actually is, but I like that it came in the like individual sections. They look like really sharp little tubes. I liked the color selection, light apricot. <laughs> but yeah, uh, why not branch out? Like you're never going to find out if you like something new, if you always stick to the same exact products, the same exact thing. So yeah, that is the art supplies that I've bought here recently. Uh, the paints I've been eyeballing on Amazon for a couple months now and just decided to finally try them out. A uh, bunch of stuff from Hobby Lobby just because they were having stellar sales and as I've said before, I really just wanted to branch out and try something new. And then a couple other things that I didn't really need, but I can always use. 
uh, with the pens from Target and then the little sketchbook will be really handy uh, that I bought from Barnes & Noble to be able to just throw in my purse and jot ideas down or do a quick sketch or uh, I don't know, draw something out when inspiration hits because you really never know when that's going to happen. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. If you want to see more weekly art videos, please click subscribe. Otherwise, thank you so much for watching. Uh, side note, this may be the last time you see me with this super long hair. I plan to get my hair cut here shortly. So next video, I might have a buzzed head. <laughs> Who knows? Uh, just depends on how I'm feeling that day, I guess. Have a good one.